How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Renfa Active Plus Thermacool Massage Gun with five different heads. It can do both heating and cooling. On its own, because it has its own battery inside and there are pros and cons to this. The pros being you can actually just use this by itself without the massage gun. The downside to that is you have two things to charge instead of just one. Let me go back and unbox this and show you what's in the whole package. This is a full-size massage gun. You need medium to large size hands to comfortably hold this. It comes with these five attachments, including this hot and cold rechargeable massage head. On the lid area, you have your USB-A to USB-C cable. Pauses to see the specifications. Two rubber grommets in case the ones break on your attachment heads. One of them has a little hole on the side. That's for these massage heads that has a little notch to lock the orientation. These kinds are symmetrical so there are no locking mechanisms. The massage gun with a foam ball massage head weighs one pound 8.9 ounces. The entire box with the case weighs two pound 12.2 ounces. When you're done zip it up and it all fits inside a carrying case. The front of the carrying case has their logo but the back is all black and the carry handle has a rubber texture to it. The distance to the front lip is 10.89 millimeters. If we retract it, it's about two millimeters. You subtract the two, I get an amplitude of 8.6 millimeters. This is roughly consistent with what it says on the box, nine millimeter. One of the massage head is this large foam ball. It's about two inches in diameter, pointy one that's meant to dig deep into your muscle. There's this more unique one that has four little round balls. This gives you more surface area so you can go up and down larger muscles. There's also this fork one that's meant to go around your bones. The fifth attachment is this hot and cool massage head. If you look carefully on one side, there's a little fan inside. And then on the other side, this is where the air would go in. The front face is metal and there's a Peltier cooler or heater inside. There's a battery that's inside, so you have to charge it with USB-C. And this hot and cool head can run up to 60 minutes on its own. Powered by a battery internally, so you can press and hold to turn it on. This is the cool mode. This will go down to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. You can hear the fan turn on. On. There's a cooler mode at 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Press the heat. This will warm up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Press it again and it'll go to 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Press and hold to turn it off. The handle is made of this soft touch material. The bottom have the USB-C port so you can connect to charge it. The top has some vent holes to cool the motor. The front attachment head has a little notch here. This locks into the attachment head. Once you do that, it won't turn. They put a really beefy battery into this up to three hours on a single charge. Press to turn it on and it'll show the battery percentage that's left. There's a Bluetooth icon to connect to Bluetooth. It starts off on level zero. This is not low. Zero means it's not gonna move at all. Go one, two, three, four, five, back to one. When you press on something, the color will change to indicate how hard you're pressing. Stall force of 45 pounds. If I can push that hard, I'm pushing fairly hard we're gonna uh, I just gotta really get in there in order to stop this thing so it's very very powerful at its highest setting it's 2800 rpm and you can push really hard into your muscles i'll turn it up to the coolest setting and we can observe it cool down dramatically Ambient temperature is 77.1, but the center has cooled down to about 70 and it's dropping still. It has reached 68 degrees. I'm gonna touch it. It feels icy. If I apply it to my hand, which is 89 degrees right now, let's see what happens. Feels cool to the touch. Let's change it to the heat setting. The reading on the thermal camera is slightly inaccurate because this is a metallic surface. You see how if I put my hand over this, it reflects my finger's heat. This is just reading the heat off of something else. Let me apply it to my hand instead. 89 degrees, I can put that on there. It feels rather warm and it reaches about 102. Definitely feels warmer, 105 now, there, 106. But the controls is on the massage head, so you actually have to turn it off first and then change the controls to cool if you want. And you can restart the gun and apply it to wherever that's needed again. See that spot on my hand, 83, 81, Definitely feels cool to the touch. There's a 15 watt hour battery in here and it'll charge at 10 watts. 
If you plug it in, it starts pulsing green to show it's charging. Even at 81%, it'll use around seven watts to charge. The heating head doesn't have a battery indicator. You just gotta plug it in when it's low. It flashes the screen and it's using about 3.9 watts to charge. This also has app control. Let me turn that on. Open the Renfa Health app. Select the upper right plus sign. This is the Renfa Active Plus. Turn it on so that the Bluetooth is on. Select the plus sign, it'll add it to the app. The app allows you to control different speeds. I can select one. It does it by itself. Two, three, four, five. You can turn on the auto mode and it'll cycle between each speed for about one minute each. So if we wait for a whole minute, it switches to the second one. On the bottom middle button, you can press courses and there are a bunch of videos that you can follow and these videos will adjust the speed setting on your massage gun. Let's say we wanna do this upper body workout video here. Let's start it. The app is pretty useful if you don't know how to massage yourself. It'll kind of guide you which massage head to use at what speed and where should you massage. Of course, you can just use it like a regular old massage gun without any app control or any of that fancy bells and whistles. This massage gun in their line is the one with all the bells and whistles. Heat and cool, has app control, has a carrying case, really long battery life that can run for three hours. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.